Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Alright, so this is going to be a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising Monte Tower reading September 2019 and uh, bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards and we are to jump straight away uh, into the reading. <coughs> Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of our Scorpio month is going to be the Hangman, followed by the next one which is uh, the peripheral activities that we can go for here that is going to be the Queen of Swords. Afterwards we do have uh, the challenges that we need to face that is going to be the uh, Knight of Cups. Then what we do have is going to be the positive aspect of the month that is going to be the Four of Swords. And the last one that we do have is going to be the Guidance, and that is the Chariot card, right? So uh, this, uh, this month, uh, we are going to be granted a, a time to rest. For a reason being, it's uh, just uh, by the look of these cards, by the reason, uh, for, for a few reasons, to be honest. Uh, the way I see it from these cards is that we do have plans, and, uh, or we do want to do something, okay? And right now, we are a bit unsure how exactly to do it. So the month of uh, September is going to be focused more upon the peripheral stuff, getting things done, you know, taking chores out of the way and these kind of stuff. While meanwhile, one is figuring out a way how to skyrocket in regards to their plans, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. But before we go into that, guys, Let's run the cards one more time. So we do have the hangman, which is the general team, the topic of the month for us Scorpios. Then it is the uh, Queen of Swords, which stands for the peripheral activities. Afterwards, it is the Knight of Cups, which represents the challenges. Then we do have the Four of Swords, which stands for the positive aspect. And the final one is going to be the Chariot card, which stands for the uh, guidance. Uh, the guidance, yeah, well, well, I would have started from the guidance, but let's not break the, um, the routine here and let's start from the first card. So the hangman topic. Hangman, it's a, um, in this case, with such a follow-up that we do have, the hangman for us tell us that everything happens with its time, okay? Maybe we are eager to push certain things, you know, maybe we are eager to execute our new business, maybe we are eager to start new relationships as well, and etc., etc. The hangman here, however, points is that we cannot do that. Should we rely on old habits? Should we rely on outdated standpoints and outdated visions as well? Now, this month with the hangman, we need to adopt a different perspective, okay? Different perspective upon things, different perspective upon life, if you want to say it that way, because the hangman, especially as a prime, as a prime card, it's about simultaneously a, a breakthrough and a test. A test how open-minded we are to go for new things or to make our things happen 
in a slightly different vision, in a slightly different perspective, because the perspective we do have right now, it's going to prove itself utterly futile with the hangman. Another positive thing about the hangman here, it is that should we face a, a somewhat dead-end situations where we basically exhausted all of our shots, all of our arrows, and it yield no results whatsoever, it's going to fix itself on its own accord. Only thing that we got to do here, it is just wait. The accompanied card is going to be the Queen of Cups formation, passive supporters. We definitely got to wait, guys. It's a month for planning, big, big planning. But the thing is that we need to, like I said, you know, we need to relieve our mind and our logic, if you want to say it that way, with the outdated standards we are living, um, we are living through. It's like bursting from a cocoon that we have been up until this point. It's about a long-term planning and it is about analyzing how we feel with these two cards. Very important, two watery cards, all right? We need to understand what our feelings are that is different from an emotion, all right? And what we can do to nurture and cherish them and why feeling is different from emotion, you know? You may feel happy while you can experience love, which is emotion. All right, so that is different. Emotion and feelings are two different things. Do not confuse both, because you can love someone, but it may feel, but it may make you feel miserable. There are two different things, okay? And if you are feeling miserable with someone, even though you may love them as an, you, even though you may have a love as an emotion toward them, you gotta stop this thing, okay? Because it's about your feelings and how you can listen to them, nurture them, so you can find yourself transformed with a brand new perspective that promises you great growth or promises us a, a great growth. To be honest, I already know what this is talking about to me, okay? But I'm not going to divulge it because it's very, very personal, right? So it's, uh, yeah. Uh, the next one is going to be the peripheral activities. We do have the Queen of Swords, and I reckon I, I'm giving my I'm giving uh, here example of myself. I reckon this is my manager, which is going to ask me to just get the things done. So everything aside, um, in regards to the situation of how you feel, you can attend to with this person that together we are gonna get the things done. Now, this usually a woman, while it could be a man, very, eman many, very emancipating person, person who is very experienced in what they do, capable to push their things through, or in this case, guys, your things through, our things through. Additionally to that, as a peripheral activities, maybe you should start thinking more about your lifestyle because the Queen of Swords sometimes refers to health and it gives options to improve your health drastically. The accompanied card, it is the Ace of Pentacles here, formation, it is a uh, active, uh, active enemies. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, the, the, the Ace of Pentacles to the Queen of Swords, it is just a testament that it has nothing to do with how you feel. So if this person here, it is like you, your manager, that means to me that I have to focus on my relationships as a prime goal throughout this month, all right? Or if this person for you is in regards to your relationship, for example, your your uh, couple's con consultant, all right? Or your mother, which gives you a, a an, an advice and is helping you throughout your relationship, then you have to focus on your career and how you feel about your career. So whatever you are having support or whatever we are having support, we need to focus upon this thing that we don't have any support whatsoever, that is beyond our control because we do have the wrong perspective. Now, the next one is going to be in regards to uh, the challenges that we need to face. And that will be a person, we do have the queen, the uh, king, ah, the knight of cups, excuse me. So the Knights of Cups, it's usually daydreaming kind of person, right? Woman or a man, it doesn't really matter, who likes to talk. It's a big talker. Now, while the Knight does not lie, while the Knight divulges information or promises something, the Knight has no idea how he's going to achieve it, right? So let's say that someone is promising you the world. They have no idea how to do that. They promise, they promise to you that they... Um, 
let's say that you are, you are just starting the relationship with this one, all right? And they promises to you, or they are telling you that you're gonna be just fine, even though you don't have a place to live together right now, he's gonna find one. He doesn't have any idea how to do that yet, you know, but he is intending to. Now, the challenge here for you is going to be to, to take his word with grain of salt, all right? Just do not believe in everything that he says is gonna come true. He means it, but is he going? But is he will be able to do it? Not with everything, all right? Just I'm saying so you may so you don't end up disappointed, guys. The accompanied card here is going to be the page of swords. It is just um, the passive neutrals. It is what we do have here. Just a testament that he has no idea. He has no clue, all right? He he he's just talking about the end goal without knowing how exactly is he is going to get there or she is going to get there it's 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 preposterous right hoping that miraculously there will be a an unexpected help coming around or miraculously you know he's going to or he or she is going to have the option to do it without having the option or the means to create that option straight away so whatever that person tells you guys take it with a grain of salt right the next one is going to be in regards to the positive aspect that we are going to have here. That will be the Four of Swords. Fantastic times where you are, where you, we are going to be granted a, a time to rest, time to deliberate. We are going to have that time to catch up our breath, you know, and make up our mind without feeling the pressure that is going to have a great consequences. That is very important. Just to give you an example here, let's start, let's say that you do start dates with someone, all right? And you both are liking each other so much. But in the same time, your your feelings are a mess uh, here because this month we need to find out where our, our feelings are leaning toward and nurturing them. So this means with the Four of Swords that we do have time to sort our feelings through, to think about it carefully, and then gives give our answer to the person that wants to be with us. Just This is just for an example. Because when we say, because usually when we say we got to think about it, all right, uh, they, these people usually take it like, no, well, it's not going to be that case this time around. Uh, also, a very potent card to associate yourself with loyal and faithful companions and really discuss the matters of life, especially your matters here, okay? Because through throughout this, um, you're going to, or we are going to have that objective opinion from which we can make up our minds. The accompanied card here is going to be the Eight of Cups formation. It is a active neutral that we do have. <clears throat> and uh, the, this card here, these two cards here are pointing that we ain't gonna lose faith we ain't gonna lose clamorous belief even if we we are experiencing emotional breakdown you know and we have to um now anew find our uh, feelings and our emotions and all these kind of stuff um by associating yourself with faithful uh, with faithful and loyal people or just giving ourselves a break you know it is we are very quickly going to understand that this isn't the end and the best is yet to come, or it's really yet to come. So, because, for example, if you have been, uh, you know, heartbroken, someone really broke your heart very bad, all right, and you don't know what you feel, you don't know where your emotions are, well, this month, it, it seems that your emotions are going to be stabilized, that your feelings are going to be now in sync with, uh, with your logic, and uh, you, uh, you, we are going to start making... Um, moves toward improving our situations but it's very important once again not to rush it and this is the guidance that we do have that is the chariot another card pointing that we need to take our time to prepare because the chariot is like a uh, the preparation before the big strafe the big jump moving on forward otherwise you know our actions may appear to be a little bit uh, premature and it's not like they're going to, uh, you know, have to face some sort of a failure, you know, or, or a big disappointment. It's just, 
if we go for a premature actions, that could, co that could cost us some bridges. What I mean is that we may burn some opportunities that may came later to our attention and we may burn them before they, before they actually form, okay? So just take your time. Very important here, Scorpio. Take your time and um, kind of like sort your emotions and feelings through this month of September. Nobody is breathing in your neck. Uh, the accompanied card here, it is the Sun, the formation. It is a uh, passive enemies that we do have. So with the Sun card, this is a, a bit of a um, kind of taboo. Uh, I would say the people doesn't talk much about, especially in the West, because uh, I know the thing, uh, I know in fact, because I have a lot of, you know, touch with the West, you know, the Western countries in this world, where um, the policy is that you have to be polite. Even if you don't like the person, you gotta be polite with them. You gotta say sorry, you gotta say thank you, even if you despise that guy or that girl, or you don't want to spend time with them and this kind of stuff. Well, you, you shouldn't do that. You know, it, with these two cards, this damages you, um, damages your, your, feelings once again so you need to define what you like to do how you like to how how you like doing it and when you do so you will have the chance to start doing it so that being said scorpio this was your monthly tarot reading for uh, september 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, we are going to see each other around until then bye